All right, guys, welcome to the Jeet Kune Do Essentials. So this is going to be uh, very different, but at the same point, very similar to the Commando Core Combatives. So you guys who have seen some of the uh, stuff that is in our core Commando Combatives curriculum uh, will know that we're very much going on the offense, very much, very simple, OK? Uh, Jeet Kune Do is also very simple, but there's a lot of differences between the old school boxing stance and moving around like that, uh, and then the very rigid sort of Wing Chun type of Kung Fu stance that we see being used in Jeet Kune Do. Now this video is gonna show you how you can take Jeet Kune Do and really make it very street effective, very lethal, very efficient. It is a highly efficient system. It's a great system. I studied it under Sifu Brian Carpenter for many years. I've also got a background in Wing Chun with um, Sifu Chow, and he used to operate out of a number of different places, New York City, New Jersey, and uh, this is where I've kind of learned my fundamentals of Chi Kune Do and Wing Chun. Chi Kune Do is known for like double pops. Let me show you what that means. So we come here, and we pop here, and we come over top. Now notice, everything that we throw is this straight punch, and it's weird for Western boxers. They're so used to this but it's actually very effective. So we come in here, we do the bong sao, right? Now maybe we come in here and we stick to him. We're always gonna wanna stick to this arm. But the thing that makes Jeet Kune Do different, again, is kind of the little flashy techniques. Now Bruce Lee was very flat, he was a very flashy guy. So when we come here and come over the top, it does two things. Number one, it looks super cool, which is the most important thing. But number two, it actually kind of distracts them, believe it or not. When we come here, What's that? Oh, I just got hit in the face like twice. So that's very, very important that um, we realize why we're doing these things. We don't just do them. So here, okay? And when we come for that double pock down, right? Pock. When we come for that double pock down, we want to make sure that we kind of keep our elbow, maintain some kind of connection with his arm, okay? So that that way if he starts moving his arm, we feel it, all right? We feel that connection. We can keep going with him. Right? Similar to wrestling, similar to a lot of different grappling arts, but come here like this, okay? We keep the connection and we come double pop, okay? Then we just blast right through, okay? Very simple. Let's try that again. One, okay? Two, double pop. Three, but notice how we still maintain a connection, okay? We are not releasing and letting him go back. We are one, two, three, Four, and we pull here and we come here. Okay, very important that we always maintain some kind of connection. In our other combative programs, we talk a lot about maintaining a two on one grip, never a one on one grip, right? Well, in this case, we always want to maintain some kind of connection with our opponent so that we can defeat them. One, okay, bonks out. Two, we come in here elbow to elbow. Okay, notice how my elbow and his elbow are touching. Now, three. Pock, pock, we keep control of his wrist. Four, we pull and we push in, okay? Now five, we're gonna take our knee, whoa, pop it, okay? All we're doing is popping it, this isn't a takedown, we're just simply popping it. Now from there, we've popped it, now we're having a knee-to-knee -knee connection. Again, notice the connection thing, guys. It's a very sticky, or we wanna be sticky as possible. So now we just push down, and we can start coming and, um, punching him in the back of the head, which is always a great technique. Definitely not great um, legal in the ring, but in the street, anything goes. So let's take a look at this again. We pox or bong sow it, right? Elbow to elbow connection, okay? Now when we come in here for the double pop, one, two, and we grab. Three, we come and we push and we pull in, okay? Four, we take that, we pop the, the, the knee. Now we can't just pop the knee, we have to maintain connection, all right? Now here, all right, we push him down, boom, to the back of the head. We can start thinking also destroying the elbow, okay? We can think about coming and doing other techniques, but the most important thing is that we get him um, broken down. So 